Hi, I'm John Maida, and I'm here with Evan Chalky, Group Product Manager. Let's recall the Copilot stack for a moment. Yes, the Copilot stack. And remember the inner sort of piece there, the AI orchestration? We explode it out, and we see what Semantic Kernel does. It interconnects a lot of things and helps you build Copilots quickly. Evan, show us how this happens. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to start here within Copilot Chat. So I already have this running. And a few things I can do is I can go ahead and, and start by really just uploading a file. So I'm going to upload this operations manual that we talked about earlier and go ahead and get that uploaded. So now it's uploaded into Copilot Chat. And I can really start to do a lot of things here. I can start to ask it questions. So I can take this, uh, this rag pattern and, and really start to just talk to my documents. So I can ask for things like maybe you know, tell me a little bit about the operations manual. So we'll say, tell me about the adventure works. Yeah, so you can see now that it's using our, our bot here, using the latest of the LLMs, the large language models. I can start to talk back and forth with, with this entire operations manual. So as a, as a retail worker, I can start to ask it questions about things that have changed. I can start to find out what type of things I should start to do for maybe opening up the store or closing the store. And as an IT professional, the other thing I can do is I can very quickly go in here. I can rename this bot, let's say, to uh, AdventureWorks you know, Retail Store Bot. And from there, I can start to do things like share it. So maybe I want to download the bot. And as soon as I download this bot, I can also now send it out to the retail stores. And what they can do is they can either upload the bot or we're going to have this pre-uploaded pre for them. And wow, right now, I've got it. So now the store employees can go in and start to talk to the bot, find out about that information. And really to get started here, what I did is I went to the GitHub Microsoft Semantic Kernel repo in GitHub. It's, it's fully open. It's open source uh, with an MIT license. So you can go directly here, download the code for this GitHub Copilot, and really start going. Uh, and if I switch back a few other things that we, we have, we talked about a little bit about uploading the document. You can also connect to other things. So maybe I want to, as a IT professional, connect my bot to things like Microsoft Graph. Imagine the, the power of, uh, that you can start to do when you, when you connect this to Graph. I can start to ask it to email summaries of things. I can start to ask about the to-dos that I, I should be doing. And I can do the same type of things when I connect this to, let's say, GitHub or Jira. I can start to ask it about the open PRs in my GitHub repo or what what items I have that are coming in from end users. So a lot of power here. Again, you can get this directly from our GitHub repo. So if I switch back over to VS Code, I can really start to see uh, how this works. So I have all of this within, within GitHub. Uh, I've downloaded this into VS Code. You can see I've, I've gotten the repo, have that down in VS Code here. I can really start to find this Copilot chat under the samples folder. And now all I have to do is what I normally do to start up uh, a back end and a front end. So I'm doing things like .NET build, uh, yarn start to start up that front end, which is all in TypeScript. And we make it really easy for you to get started. So I can connect this to things like OpenAI, uh, Azure OpenAI service. Uh, we have a lot of other services here if I want to do things like text to speech. So again, a lot of power here to just get you started. The other thing I can do is I can go over to our VS Code extension. So if you go into the marketplace and you search for Semantic Kernel, this is a great place to start to do some prompt engineering. So if I flip over here, I can start to see a few things. One, I can see all of the, all of the functions that I have already in my project. So when I downloaded the repo from, from GitHub, I can see I have things like chat skills and calendar skills and fun skills. Lots of different options I have here. And really, all I have to do to get started, I just double click on, on, a, uh, on a plugin here. And off I go. And I can see this is just plain English. So it's really easy to, to jump in, to get started, 
to make some changes if I want, and I can start to, uh, to run this. And I can run this against things like my, again, Azure OpenAI models, my Hugging Face models, my OpenAI models. And with the power of the extension, I can sign in as me, and I can go and see those, those models within Azure that I already have access to. Or I can provide my key to OpenAI and go and use those models uh, provided directly from OpenAI. And I can do more than just, um, just text and get text back. I can actually start to do things like multimodal. So if I connect to Hugging Face like I, I am now, I can start to use some of, the, uh, some of the models to do things like text to image. So I can go in here and let's say in a test skill, I can really quickly create a, uh, a new function here. We'll just call it my um, text to image. And I'll give a description creates images, and it's really that easy. So now I have this, I'm all set, I can make a prompt here. So my prompt can be anything that I want, again, just in plain language. Things like um, create me an image um, in uh, Lego uh, format. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my inputs image of a person in the car. And this is going to go ahead and run. And it's going to run against my Hugging Face model. And in just a second, it's going to create that image, download it, and then I can start to take a look at it. There we go. So my image has been created. I can take a look and see what's generated. And I can see, wow, look how easy that was right away. I've got my Lego people in a car, multimodal, directly from the VS Code extension. So Evan, semantic kernel, open source, multimodal, multimodal, from within the flow of a developer's every day, and also all in native code plus semantic code. It, it's amazing. All right, well, thanks for tuning in to this segment on open source semantic kernel. Hope you're all running code that makes stuff better out there. See you soon.